Good evening, everybody. I'm Fictional Crystals, and Blue Diamond feels responsible for Pink Diamond shattering. Blue Diamond is much different now than she was 5,000 plus years ago. The Blue Diamond we see in the present is a mess. She cries over the loss of Pink Diamond often. She has had trouble leading her gems since Pink shattering. Where's the diamond when they need a blue? You've got to be a little blue. Blue Diamond just can't move on from Pink Diamond's death in the same way Yellow Diamond has. Sure, Yellow's upset about what happened. Don't you know I miss her? But by no means is she in the state of blue. That's because Yellow doesn't feel responsible for pink shattering in the same way blue does. Yellow Diamond knew Pink Diamond wasn't ready for a colony. Yellow wasn't concerned with what Pink Diamond was doing. As long as she didn't bother her, she brushed her off and attended to her own affairs. Whereas Blue Diamond was there for Pink Diamond. When Pink got her first colony, Blue was the one who would talk to her. Yellow was the one who had to watch over Pink for ages prior to her colony. After the colony started, it was Blue Diamond's turn to be Pink's primary watchover. Blue was open to taking that task. Blue Diamond knew what Pink was like. Pink would want things often. She'd throw tantrums, make excuses, had a short attention span, and flip-flop between things. She always did what she wanted. You know Rose. She, she always, always did, did what she wanted. wanted. Yeah, Pink Diamond was meant to be overseeing the Earth, but Blue Diamond was overseeing her. Blue was not the vulnerable gem we know today. Back then, she was as tough as yellow. She was strict, had an edge to her tone of voice, and was willing to shatter any common gem that stepped out of line. Now, only short glimpses of the gem she used to be appear in her present day self. Pink Diamond grew to love Earth and its life. After realizing the dangers gem colonization had on the planet, she tried backing out of it. When she started, she thought it'd be fun and games. She wanted to be like the experienced diamonds who she thought were cool. Not this. Since Pink was under the authority of the other diamonds, she took her concerns to Blue Diamond. She kept coming up with excuses to leave the planet. None of them worked on Blue. We're tired of your excuses, Pink. The diamonds got this planet for Pink. She begged for it in the first place. They wanted her to take responsibility for once. So they forced her to carry on. Show everyone you are unfazed by this little uprising. Eventually, Pink created her alter ego, Rose Quartz. She figured if the diamonds wouldn't listen to the words of another diamond, maybe they'd listen to the threats from a rebel. After causing trouble as Rose, Pink went back to Blue with another excuse to leave the Earth. Rose Quartz and her crystal gems were making everything hard, threatening the diamonds. Instead of leaving with Pink and the Earth gems, Blue Diamond simply told Pink to stand her ground. Rose Quartz and her crystal gems were no real issue in Blue's eyes. Pink didn't have to do anything, nor worry. Blue Diamond went down to Earth with her gems as extra protection too. She was in the cloud arena on Earth when Rose attacked again in front of her. Pink made sure Blue was there to see Rose Quartz's power in action. She hoped Blue Diamond would back off after seeing how easily Rose Quartz got rid of her gems. But Rose's show was disrupted by a new fusion. Blue Diamond disregarded all of the pleas from Pink Diamond and the threats from Rose. Even after the war started, Blue would rather the gems stand their ground and fight to the end than give up. She didn't want to leave the Earth in peace, at least back then. As Pink's last resort, she faked her shattering. That moment, Blue Diamond changed. She may have been strict towards Pink, but she still cared for her. Otherwise, she wouldn't have bothered staying for Pink. Yellow did care for her too. If Yellow and Blue didn't, they wouldn't have kept Pink around. Blue was heartbroken by Pink's supposed death. Not only because, well, Pink was shattered. She took it much harder than the other diamonds because she felt the most responsible. She kept blaming herself for Pink getting shattered. She kept saying to herself if she had just listened to Pink's pleas to leave Earth, Rose Quartz couldn't have been able to shatter her. If she didn't push Pink to carry on with the colony, she'd still be around. If she was watching Pink more closely, this wouldn't have happened. If she had just been at Pink's palanquin, she feels guilty that she wasn't more openly caring or nurturing then. So now she's trying to make up for it by thinking about what Pink Diamond would have wanted whenever she does something. Yellow says it'll all be over soon. I wonder what you would think. This is your planet after all. I still think it is. She keeps everything Pink Diamond wanted. She respects what she knew of her. She wants to know the full truth of Pink Shattering to get some closure. Pink Diamond Shattering didn't break Pink Diamond. It broke Blue Diamond. But anyway, thanks for watching, cause that will be all.